Hurricane Helene has claimed more than 200 lives in the U.S. Destructive wind and torrential rains of Typhoon Krathon have left at least four dead in Taiwan. And Cyclone Asna wreaked havoc in India, killing 49 and leaving a trail of destruction. But do you know the difference between a typhoon, hurricane and cyclone? Have you ever wondered how a cyclone, hurricane or typhoon gets its name? Or how are they different from a tornado? If you want to know the answers, then this explainer is just for you. The short answer is a typhoon, hurricane and cyclone are actually the same phenomena. They are all tropical storms. First things first, there are two types of storms, one that forms over water and another on land. A tropical storm forms over tropical oceans. It is characterized by strong winds and heavy rainfall. A tropical storm can broadly be categorized as a cyclone typhoon and hurricane. They are called so depending on where they occur. A hurricane is a storm that forms over the Atlantic Ocean and the northeastern part of the Pacific Ocean. A typhoon forms in the northwestern Pacific Ocean. And a cyclone is a weather phenomena that occurs in the Indian Ocean and the southern Pacific Ocean. In other words, a typhoon or hurricane occurs in the northern hemisphere, that is, above the equator. A cyclone generally occurs in the southern hemisphere. There are other differences too. A typhoon and hurricane rotate counterclockwise whereas a cyclone rotates clockwise. A tornado, on the other hand, is a narrow, violently rotating column of air. It forms on land and can last anywhere from a few minutes to a couple of hours. Tornadoes are not given a name because they are short-lived. But the same cannot be said for tropical storms. The World Meteorological Organization is the agency that gives a cyclone or a hurricane a name. Tropical storms are a dangerous natural hazard. Therefore, giving them a name is the fastest way to communicate warnings, raise public awareness and boost preparedness. The process of determining a name for a cyclone, typhoon or hurricane is conducted by the regional bodies of the World Meteorological Organization at its annual or biennial session. The selection of names is based on their familiarity to the people of a particular region. The procedure for naming a storm varies though. Some regions use the alphabetical order. Others use the alphabetical order of the names of countries. A name is used in rotation every six years. India proposed the name Tej. It was used in 2022. It could again be used in 2028. The name given to a hurricane can only have 21 letters of the alphabet. Why? Because it is difficult to find suitable names starting with the letters Q, U, X, Y and Z. A name can be retired or withdrawn from the active list if it acquires a special notoriety because of the human casualties or damage incurred. There are nine sets of lists presented by nine different regions. The nine regions are 1. Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico and the North Atlantic 2. Central North Pacific 3. Western North Pacific and South China Sea 4. Australian Tropical Cyclone Warning Centers Area of Responsibility 5. Regional Specialized Meteorological Center Nadi's Area of Responsibility 6. Port Moresby Tropical Cyclone Warning Center's Area of Responsibility 7. Jakarta Tropical Cyclone Warning Center's Area of Responsibility 8. Northern Indian Ocean Names Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal and 9. Southwest Indian Ocean The recent names proposed by India are Gati, Tej, Murasu, 
and Aag. The name Nivar comes from Iran, Gulab from Pakistan, Yas from Oman, Lulu from Qatar, and so the list goes on. Typhoon Yagi, the Category 5 Super Typhoon, got its name from Japan. It originated in the South China Sea. It hit some countries in Asia, including Vietnam. It caused $15.3 billion worth of destruction. And for that reason, the name Yagi shall retire from the list. Tropical storms have been given names since the 18th century. The very first name recorded was Ant Ye. This Atlantic storm ripped the mast off a boat named Ant Ye. The first person to systematically name a tropical storm was an Australian meteorologist, Clement Rage. His idea was to name storms after political leaders, but his idea failed miserably. Soon, meteorologists started using female names for storms in the middle of the 20th century. This sparked a controversy. After the WMO came into being, it started introducing male names alternating with female names in 1979. It can become a sensitive subject to handle. For example, the name of the 2013 Sri Lanka cyclone, Mahasen, was changed to Boyaru after protests broke out in the island nation. Clearly, christening a name is no child's play. It requires careful thought and consideration. Ragini Sudhir Chore for DD India.